Harry and William's different path laid bare as Duke floats on TV while his brother serves. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have made their first public appearance since the coronation role emerged while Prince William carried out a royal engagement today. Prince William and Prince Harry's opposite lives have been laid bare with their, their contrasting public outings this week while the Duke of Sussex was attending the Los Angeles Lakers playoff game on Monday evening. Prince William was laying a wrath in Hyde Park to mark Anzac Day. The evident different paths have been noticed by many, including the Daily Mail's diary editor, Richard Eden. Taken to Twitter, Eden wrote, Prince William is up at a crack of dawn for a moving Anzac Day ceremony, while Prince Harry is pictured flirting with Meghan on a kiss cam at a basketball game in the USA. Can there be any starker illustration of the different path the brothers have chosen. Prince William is next in line to the throne, while Harry, who is fifth in line, stepped down as senior royal in 2020 and now lives in California with Meghan and the two children. Harry's appearance with Meghan Markle marked the first public outing since the pair responded to King Charles III's coronation invitation. The couple, who are now based in the USA, were seen laughing and smiling during a Lakers basketball game. Thousands of fans, all situated in the arena, began cheering and clapping with Harry appearing to lean in for a kiss. The Duchess of Sussex stops him by jokingly putting her hands on Harry's arm. Following his wife's playful antic, Harry then looks for the camera and seemingly gives a joking grimace look. But back in London, Prince William's day appeared worlds away from, from Harry. The 40-year-old attended the emotional Anzac Day ceremony in London in the early hours of Tuesday morning. During the ceremony, William signed a book of remembrance to a backdrop of um, the Drago music. Tensions between one's close brothers are believed to have hit rock bottom, particularly since the release of Harry's book's in January.